There are four tight congressional races on Long Island, three of the four open seats because Lee Zeldin, Tom Swazi, and Kathleen Rice all decided not to seek re-election. Tonight, CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff takes us to the 4th Congressional District on Nassau County's South Shore, where this race is considered a toss-up. A seat held by Democrats for 25 years. Carolyn McCarthy, then Kathleen Rice. Now it's a toss up. A year after a red wave swept Long Island suburbs. Laura Gillen versus Anthony D. Esposito. They've butted heads before in the town of Hempstead, where Gillen was the first Democratic supervisor in a century. Republican D. Esposito sits on the board of America's largest township. I've had the ability to either hold the line on taxes or lower taxes to town residents. Uh, and, the, you know, the one opportunity when Laura Gillen had had uh, to vote on a budget uh, that was a tax cut budget, she voted no. When I showed up in town hall, that's when taxes went down consistently, and it was because I was there being a watchdog. Um, I put contracts out to bid. Now it's national issues with who controls Congress at stake. Women's autonomy over their own health care decisions. Um, our children's safety and our community safety is on the ballot because we need common sense gun laws. Um, democracy is on the ballot. It's about crime, it's uh, about money, you know, cost of living inflation, uh, and a lot of people are concerned about our open borders. Open borders cause cr causes crime. Long Island will have much to say on whether Republicans can flip the House, says Hofstra University's Suburban Studies Chair. We may either be on the verge of a red tsunami or one of the greatest saves in political history. 53-year-old Gillen from Rockville Center is an attorney and mother of four. 40-year-old Diaz Pizzito of Island Park is a former NYPD detective and volunteer firefighter. What are they not? Cashless bail is a huge threat. Her team passed it. Gillen says she's not soft on crime. I spoke out against the cashless bail law, and I fully support funding our police department. My opponent is a rubber stamp for whatever his party wants. Diaz Pizzito says his stance on on abortion is distorted. I would not vote for a nationwide abortion ban. The 4th Congressional District has the highest enrollment of Democrats on Long Island, but there's also a significant chunk of independents, so this race will be decided by who gets out the vote and which way independents are breaking. On Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. D. Esposito also works at the Nassau Board of Elections, which Gillen says is a conflict of interest. He says, though, that his position has nothing to do with counting ballots.